Sea levels rose a lot faster than expected last year, but it's not what you're thinking because it's not melting ice or glaciers. Last year's rate of rise was this much compared to the amount they expected here. In the science world, that's a lot to be off. And it's all because of something called thermal expansion. Watch this. Don't worry, we dug this out of recycling, but this bottle is filled with room temperature water. You can see the water coming up through the straw to where it's marked. We put the bottle next to this incandescent lamp that will eventually be replaced with an LED bulb. And we waited about 20 minutes for the water to heat up and the water to rise. Basically, warmer water takes up more volume. A higher temperature means that the water molecules are moving faster, causing them to take up more space. Up until now, sea level rise has been mainly due to the melting of ice sheets and glaciers and a little bit because of thermal expansion. But last year, it flipped. That surprising increase was because of thermal expansion. 2024 was the hottest year on record. So the top layers of the ocean, where the warmest water usually sits, reacted quickly to that extra heat. And because it was an El Nino year, which means the Pacific Ocean water was being sloshed around more than usual, those top warmer layers mixed down and increased ocean volume. The good news is that now we can enter these new observations into our climate models and get better predictions and solutions moving forward.